all they love the way we sound, the way we review So turn up your sound, cause here comes the most badass talent to review Sad Review Cause that's what we do when we start we Review games whether they're good or not From the graphics to gameplay beginning with a plot Nothing will stop us from reaching the top 500 subs in less than 3 days These motherfucking idiots thinking it's just a phase We suffer through damnation and even haze But we come through cause we're here to stay So the story in Henry Hatch for us in the puzzle and adventure is that you play this pretty old guy who is looking for the ultimate treasure, which happens to be a golden suit. So you're looking for this golden suit, and the first thing you find is the golden hat. And it makes you, like, 30 years younger. So, and then your arch nemesis is also looking for the golden suit. So now you guys are on a race to look for the suit. I think that's about it. I think that's pretty much the premises of it. Okay. Um, well, what I really enjoy about the story is um, the conversations between all the different characters, like the, the nemesis and your, your um, kind of like young guy who's following you. Uh, they do like this gibberish talk, which is pretty funny. It's kind of... <laughs> exactly like that. That's, like, <laughs> that's exactly how they sound. And uh, I think it's, it's really cool. I mean, it makes it like a funny type of game, and I really enjoy that. And uh, the main story is nothing special, but, you know, it, it does its job, and it's a pretty funny game. Well, the graphics I liked a lot because simply because they're simple enough that it is a DS game, so you are playing basically a 2D game. But uh, when you uh, use attacks, when you use your uh, sword slash... Uh, I don't know, stick that old people use. Uh, when you use your shooting gun, when you use the robot, when you use all these attacks, they, they look colorful. They look like they're almost 3D, especially the robot's attacks. So overall, the graphics do does its job. The environments look like the areas that you're in. And uh, the puzzle is colorful, so it's easy to match the colors and everything. So overall, I really enjoyed the graphics. Yep, you covered that pretty well. Basically agree with everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, with the gameplay, uh, what's really cool about this game is it adds two different things. Uh, it adds a puzzle and it adds platforming. Uh, I'll talk about the platforming first. Platforming is basically like Mario or more kind of like Mega Man where you have uh, two different attacks. You have close range attacks, you use your sword, uh, or you have far range attacks where you use your gun. But the trick with the gun is that it will use energy and you have to use the puzzle part of this game to get the energy back so it does add this kind of like when to use it when not to use it uh gameplay also uh you get this special thing which i absolutely love it's called tea time and uh you you basically become like mega man super robot kind of form thing and you just you you basically destroy everything like you just bitch slap everything you just walk past everything and you're killing them as you're walking you can use these like super lasers and all everything i mean it, it's basically a, a super mode and that, that's really cool, and it, it's kind of like Mario when you go his big form in New Super Mario. So the platforming works really well, and uh, you have enough of different type of enemies to never really get bored of the platforming section of the game. Okay, so in the puzzle part, it's pretty simple. It's, it's very similar to Tetris. You just match up three blocks in the same color, and then they kind of just disappear. Um, you can only move the blocks horizontally, but you can match them horizontal and vertical. Um, you do, when you're in the platforming part of the game, you do unlock certain special abilities that will go down to the puzzle part, then you have to match up those blocks to get the, oh fuck, to get the special power. And then when you kill an enemy on the top screen, which is your platforming screen, they do go down to the puzzle, and then you also have to match up that color with blocks. I think I'm going to confuse people with this. But that's right. Yeah, when you kill the enemies in the platforming part of the screen, they do drop to the puzzle part. You have to match up the color, their color blocks with the other color blocks, and they go away there also. Now, if you don't get them, then they're going to come back as a block, and they're going to drop on your head, and you don't want that. Yes. So that'll screw things up. That's basically it. Um, what I also like is that you get uh, money in the game, and you can use that to upgrade your health bar. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> upgrade your health bar, your time uh, in the puzzle area, 
and uh, basically upgrade everything you think you can upgrade in a video game. And I think that's kind of cool because it adds to playing levels, you know, get, you know, kill this enemy to get more money. So I think that's pretty cool too. For the most part, I actually enjoyed Henry Hatsworth a lot. Um, it mixed two really good things, platforming and kind of like a puzzle Tetris type of game. And overall, it came out to be a fun game. Uh, the main problem I really had with the game is, out of nowhere, the difficulty will just jump, and you'll fight, like, the hardest sections in your life. Basically, you'll fight six or seven enemies at once, and they'll basically beat the shit out of you until you die, and that's the only really big problem I have with the game. Everything else from using the, the tea time to just the overall puzzle thing was a lot of fun, and overall this game was a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree with Whitey on pretty much all of that. It's just the out of nowhere the, the difficulty will spike on you. Um the game the game's pretty short, not much of a replay value. Um but other than that, like I the game the game is really fun. Most people just fall in love with the gameplay. So and that's definitely what I liked about it the most. So, um I think that's about that's about it. I wrote notes. I take notes. <laughs> That's okay. You can have a little cameo. Shh. You gotta be quiet, okay? Okay. You can go. Alright, next time you do that, I'm gonna bark at him. So, it's just the same thing as Whitey. Okay, I think it's good now. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second.